Media Day 2008 at the RDV Sportsplex. And you're watching live on the World Wide Web, OrlandoMagic.com. David Steele, longtime broadcaster for the ball club, and uh, just having some informal conversations with players and coaches and uh, other celebrities that are here today, and glad to be bringing it to you live. Uh, joined now by one of the newest members of the Orlando Magic basketball team. This is Mike Wilkes, wearing number 29. Mike, where do you come up with number 29? Is that what they gave you, or did you request that one? Uh, I actually requested it. I know it looks strange, but uh, the number 29 represents uh, my neighborhood that I grew up back in Milwaukee. It um, lets everybody know that I haven't forgot where I come from, and I wouldn't be here without the love and support uh, of my family and my friends back home. And so, you know, every time I step out on the court, I'm not only representing myself, but I'm representing Milwaukee in the area that I'm from. That's very nice. Uh, I didn't know that you grew up in Milwaukee. You played basketball at Rice in Texas, didn't you? Yes, sir. I got a basketball scholarship yeah. to go to Rice. Uh, I actually wanted to get to some warm weather. I'm used to the winters growing up in Milwaukee and uh, went off to Houston and had the opportunity to play for a great coach in Willis Wilson. Uh, spent four years there and, uh, you know, after I graduated, began my pro career. All your family still back up in Wisconsin pretty much? Yeah, everybody. Who's up there? They may be watching today on the, on the Internet. Uh, Who would you like to say hi to? Who's up there watching maybe? My mother, Kathy, uh, my father, Mike Sr., uh, all my family, friends, everybody is, are up there. Did your dad play basketball? How did you get into the sport? Um, my dad did play basketball in, in high school. Um, but just growing up in Milwaukee, that's all we did in our, in our free time. Uh, we had a playground. That, um, my number also represents 29th Street playground right behind my um, house and uh, we spent a lot of time up there playing and it kept us out of a lot of trouble. Now Mike's been around the NBA for, for a few years uh, as a backup point guard in this league. You've had some, some good success. Um, now you come to the Orlando Magic. How many teams? This is about your fifth or sixth or is it more than that? It's I'm, actually more than that. Uh, I, you, you, I've you, lost you, count. I'm, lost not, count? <laughs> I'm not trying to break the record but you know I've had... You, between you and Anthony Johnson I'm not sure. Yeah I haven't called record. Anthony yet but I'm, I'm right around eight or nine so um, I'm making my way up there. So you come in as the so-called third point guard on the basketball team. Uh, when you're signed by Otis Smith, do they say here is what we're signing you for, this is what we want you to do? You go in with the understanding that that is going to be your role? Uh, you know, I, I, I look at the roster. I've been around a long time. You know, you got, you know, Jameer and Anthony, they both had guaranteed contracts. So I know coming in on a non-guaranteed contract pretty much that I'm coming in behind those guys. But, you know, my focus every year is to go in there and I stay there. You know, I'm going to push guys and try to gain opportunity. But, you know, I embrace my role in terms of making those guys better every day in practice and also understanding that I have to be ready. You know, God forbid anything happens to either one of those guys, but I got to be willing and ready to step in and, and fill the role. So, you know, I just come in and try to fit wherever, you know, is necessary. Uh, we had our team meeting today, and Coach had an opportunity to kind of explain to us what our roles were. And uh, when I do get in, you know, it's to bring energy and uh, pick up the intensity of the game and, uh, you know, offensively and defensively. Mike, I know one of the reasons that Otis Smith, aside from the fact that you're a good basketball player, uh, but you're, you're one of those great character guys. I, I know a little bit about you f in that regard, so I have a lot of respect for you as a, as a human being. Um, as you travel around, you have a chance to impact, even though on the negative side you've played for a lot of different teams, but on the positive side, as, as a human, you've been able to come in contact with a lot of other people and perhaps impact people uh, from a character standpoint. Is that one of the things that you look at as your role? Definitely. Um, you know, I understand that coming into the uh, Orlando organization, and uh, it's been a blessing. You know, I've gotten to play alongside some of the best players in the world, you know, from LeBron to Yao Ming to Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen, and now I'm back here with, with Rashard and Dwight. So um, I'm excited about that opportunity um, as an athlete. But just as a person, I get to interact with guys. And um, I think that's one of the things that we all love, you know, not just the on the court, but the interactions that we have off the court, the new friendships that we'll make and that we'll have probably for the rest of our lives. And, uh, you know, it's a tremendous opportunity for me to get to know guys and hopefully not only have just a positive impact on the court, but also off the court. I think that's great. How many of these guys have you played with? Have you, you gone through that? I'm sure you, you have. Who, um, who have you played with on this roster? 
just as far as playing wise, it's just Rashard that just I Rashard. play with. But you know, I played against everybody yeah. on the team pretty much, except for you know the, the rookie and you know some of the new guys. But you know, I know everybody. Everybody knows me, so it's it's a great opportunity. I think you're going to like playing with uh, with these guys. It's a good group, and and Dwight Howard in particular. I think you'll enjoy getting to know him as a as a person and. And it's not not too bad to play with a big guy that can protect you back there at the basket either. Is yeah, defensively, it's, it's awesome. You know, um, I I've had um, great experience so far with him. I was just working out with him a little bit. Um, I I tried to box him out one day, and it Forget just it. felt like <laughs> felt like I was pushing up against the wall. And uh, he was kind of nice to me, and let me get the rebound. But uh, you know, he's a great guy from what I've seen so far, not just on the court but off the court. Great in the locker room, likes to have fun as as well as the rest of my teammates. But I think you know they know how to turn it on and turn it off, know when to get serious and, and when it's time to you know be professional and uh, get ready for the games. At this point in your career, I'm sure you know what your strengths and your weaknesses are. What are you going to provide the team? What, what do you expect to be able to give this team that maybe it, it lacks? Um, you know, just that solid contributor. You know, a guy that's going to be steady and consistent, take care of the ball, get guys into that, to get us into our sets offensively, defensively. Um, I love to pick up full court and bring that defensive pressure. Stan will like hearing that. Yeah, he, he loves that, and that's one of the roles that, you know, he assigned to me. You know, that's one of my strengths, picking up full court and uh, giving my teammates a chance to get back. And then, uh, you know, I feel like offensively, you know, I have potential, you know, to, to make that mid-range shot. So, you know, hopefully I can do that consistently this year and just be that guy that whenever called upon, be ready to step in and not miss a beat. Well, you're a pro. You're an intelligent guy. I'm sure you looked around to, to find your spot where you felt like you could make an impact. And I think you made a good decision to come here because you know, this team is going to need another point guard for sure. And uh, I expect to see you around all season long, Mike. It's nice to chat with you. All right. Thank you. Mike Wilkes. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Look all forward right. to it. Okay.